Oh boy guys, what a way to start out the day. I uh, ended up with a flat tire, didn't catch it in time, and uh, she un the bead came off. So anyways, I'm gonna have to take it off probably, take it up to the shop. Um, I think it'll be easier to do than just doing it right here. I could do it right there, but um, my air and everything's up there. So I'll go ahead and whip that baby off of there. So I'm gonna lower my jack down. Oh, wrong way. That way I can break those lug nuts free. And it's kind of funny when it happened, I immediately was frustrated. You know how that is, guys. You get frustrated right away, flat tire. Then I remembered, this stuff happens. And it's never a good time. So, out in the cold, and it's good thing we only had about an inch of snow last night, so it's no big deal, but, you know. No reason to get frustrated over it. It just, this stuff happens, and I should have been watching my tire better. I would have caught it in time. And I was off in La La Land, so I didn't catch it. Let's get this tire off, come on. Okay, we got the tire back up here to the shop. And there's a couple <laughs> questionable looking spots on this tire. I have to say, around that bead does not look very good. It's pretty chewed up. But, right there, it's pretty chewed up. Anyways, I'm gonna have to put it on. Don't really have the means to replace these front tires right now, so. I'm gonna put it on there and see if it'll hold air. And hopefully um, it will. If not, I may have to get a tube, I guess. But I'll put this back on with the old hand tools, the old hand, the tire irons, and uh, put some air in it, replace the valve stem, and see what happens. Well, now don't forget, guys, before you go ahead and put this bead back on, the front bead, go ahead and replace your stem before you do that because. If you don't, it's going to be a bugger. It's easier to do when this is off. You can do it the other way, but... So we'll go ahead and get this ready. I like to use a little bit of uh, some kind of lubricant. Whether it's, you know, soapy water. I'll spray a little bit of WD on there. It's a nice little lubricant. And we'll put it through there. A little tool threaded on the end of that baby. Put some pressure on there. And give her a pull. And we have a valve stem. Really simple. It's a lot simpler if you don't get a flat tire and uh, <laughs> ruin your bead and pop the valve stem out and all that stuff. It just makes it a lot easier if you just. Uh, screw your head on right in the morning pay attention like i was not i should have known that tire was low but anyways now i'll do this bead good grief i thought i was recording that but i wasn't i dinged the uh a couple dents in that man i should have warmed that tire up guys would have made it a little bit softer and uh what i do with that tool there we go I may or may not have to take the actual valve stem out to pump this baby up. Let's find out. See what happens. My hopes are a little bit low. Not feeling very good. The beat on this tire is trashed. Right there. The Pete's Dragon. Right there. Okay, the tire's back on. We're back in business for how long, I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that tire every time I use it until I get a new one. 